DDT so far is the only chemical effective for malaria control. The Kingdom of Swaziland is signatory to Stockholm Convention and World Health Organization on Persistent Organic Pollutants. It was discovered that there was a high level of mortality rate in other countries due to malaria, therefore the chemical was approved to be the best in controlling the disease. We spoke to the acting principal secretary in the Ministry of Health, Simon Gunene, who says DDT is allowed for public health only if used appropriately. You will recall that, uh, you know, globally, there is a move to reduce the use of DDT. But what I can say is that uh, DDT is allowed to be used for public health purposes, not agricultural purposes, because when you apply DDT for agricultural purposes, you actually put it directly into the environment. There it is not friendly. But when you use it for public health purposes, more so malaria control, you spray on the walls. You only put two grams of active ingredient per square meter, which is a very, very low dose, and very little of that actually gets to the environment. I think with all our partners, including the Minister of Environment, we have agreed that DDT can only be used for public health, which is malaria control. Tina Lala, who is the Director of Policy Research and Information from the Swaziland Environmental Authority, says the chemical is dangerous to the environment, therefore individuals are not allowed to use the chemical because it is environmental unfriendly. These pollutants, when they enter the food chain, they tend to persist. They can stay in the food chain for, for, for many, many years. In the process, it can be transfer, transferred from one medium to the other. You can actually have the pollutant in water, whatsoever, actually aquatic life is in water, can absorb that particular pollutant. Whosoever eats, whether it's a fish, whether it's an animal or a human being, the, the pollutant will be transferred to that. The vicious cycle just continues. So what, 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 what happens, therefore, is that by the nature of these actually pollutants, they, they, they tend to be sometimes carcinogenic, uh, w which then makes it uh, one of those actually areas of attention which we need to take care in terms of the, 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 the Stockholm Convention. So those are the concerns in terms of DDT. However, in the context of Swaziland, what, what happens is that uh, with, with the, the effectiveness of DDT, particularly in malaria control, we, we, we agreed actually with WHO and all the stakeholders, including our own Minister of Health, that we can have a waiver in terms of the use of DDT, only specifically only for malaria uh, malaria control, uh, until an alternative to DDT is, uh, has actually been agreed upon and has been actually uh, piloted, and its eff effectiveness has been ascertained. However, I must say that uh, the use of DDT in sectors such as agriculture is totally prohibited. Lala further mentioned that the chemical is preferably used by the public health in collaboration with the Ministry of Environmental Affairs. Reporting for Swazi TV News, I'm Zodwa Lamini with Sile Lamini in Babane.